So what's going on guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Earthrise slash Kingdom Leader Class Optimus Prime. Yes, Leader Class. Now this guy is foretold to be a Leader Class, but not because of the figure itself, but because it comes with a trailer. Ta-da! Which we'll talk about in a bit. Now, Prime himself is probably the best Voyager-ish Prime in the main line ever. If you want the genuine truth, this guy does everything. And I mean everything. He is the pinnacle of an Optimus Prime in a mainline toy line. It's insane. He is the pinnacle of Optimus Prime. As far as the robot mode goes, it's indefinitely Optimus Prime. The biggest complaint you'll always hear about this one is the legs go on for miles while the arms are quite stubby and short. Which isn't wrong, but I don't really mind it, if I'm being honest here. Another thing is his gun is a bit stubbier than you'd think it would be. This is his ion cannon. Looks pretty good. It folds up. It has a port in it. I don't know what you're going to put in it, but you can put something in it, so there's that. Also, it stores on his back quite nicely. We're just going to leave that there. Yeah, we'll talk about the kibble and all that in a minute, because there's, like, none on this guy. This guy is perfection, as far as things go. That head sculpt, perfection. Everything about him is perfection. He just looks he just looks immaculate. There's no other way to put it. He's amazing looking. He's absolutely amazing. There's some metallic blue paint on his hands, that I should mention. Can't really, you might not be able to see it that well, but there is. Also, weirdly, on the back of his head. That's it, the front of his head doesn't. Let me just get him down here. There's the head sculpt, undeniably Optimus Prime. Undeniably. I mean, yeah, he, he's just Optimus Prime. As far as accessories go, he comes with the gun. Then that is it. Right? Wrong come into the chest and holy crap the matrix is in there and to get that out i usually have to push on one side and then tap his back to get it out and there's the little itty bitty matrix pour it on the back of it so you can actually stick it on his gun and on other people's accessories which is uh pretty cool i guess you know just kind of slots back into his chest and it's there. I mean, it's it's awesome to have the Matrix. First kibble goes, like I said, this guy is damn near flawless when it comes to kibble. He has a bit on his back here, and that is it. That is all that he has. The wheels are intended, they're supposed to be there. That's just Optimus Prime design. Like I said, I like having some kibble, and I'm fine with it. He has a, the right amount of kibble. There's kibble, but it's not a ton of it, and it looks great. The figure itself just looks phenomenal. The articulation on the figure, also great. Ball joint in the head, he can pull off all the expressions that you need him to. Out, forward, back, elbow, swivel, hand rotates and also opens and closes. Which is awesome. Waist rotation, but it's a bit restricted because of the kibble. Let's attach the waist, not the back. Forward, back, also restricted because of that kibble. Kick out, knee joint, swivel, foot rotation, all right, foot tilt. It can go all the way out. Now his hips are really tight and I have seen breakage of them, which makes me a bit scared. But hey, I'm surprised I haven't re-released this guy again already. That's his robot mode. And we're not going to do transformation right away because there's another thing with the trailer. Which we'll talk about. There's actually some stuff with this trailer you can do. Obviously, the trailer opens up. On the back door here, there is a shield component that you can give him. It's like a little buckler. Doesn't really do much. It can attach the little ramp guys. I don't own any of them. The closest thing I have is hoist. And the other thing is the little repair drone is removable and you can put it on his back. So I'm just gonna put it on. Like 
so. And ta-da, shoulder cannons and claws. Shoulder cannons and claws looking good enough, I guess. Nothing particular up with it. We'll talk about the trailer more in his alternate form, if you want the truth. Speaking of all forms, how about we get to his alt form? So to transform this Optimus Prime, it's really simple. So first thing you're gonna do is come to the arms, you're gonna flip open the panel, and the hand folds in. Nice and clean, nice and easy. Next thing you're gonna do, take his legs, Peg them together. Come to the knees and flip up this panel here. And then there is a twin panel on that side. Take the arms, put them up. Next thing I do, rip them upwards. Just like that. Come to the back as well. Flip that out and then flip down the bumper. That'll unfree the waist to do a full rotation. Pull these sections back. Now with the chest, come in here, flip it up again, and then you can start flipping out the front of the truck mode along with the side panels of the truck mode. It's off camera. Basically, all of these fold out like so. I'm going to need to demonstrate it. Just fold out all of the panels. We're just going to sit them down, I guess, like so. Flip the feet down so we can keep the transformation in view. Come to the back. Flip down the back panel section where the peg is so you can flip in the head. Come to the arms, flip them back, and then take the forearms and flip them so that they go flush with the side. Maybe the alt mode, like so. Clip down the front of the truck, take the wheels here that were on the back, clip into the hips. Also, at the legs here, and the thing there is, you can flip out them. Right there's little canisters. I'm trying to get them situated perfectly here because these pegs, this clip here, this one works perfectly well and good. But these two up here, are from the Siege Optimus, because this is a heavy, heavy remold of Siege Optimus. And boy, do they not want to go in sometimes. It feels like they're also transition classics. That makes it a bit scary. You can take his gun if you want, and the gun can. Peg into a little groove in there. There's Optimus in his alt form. Wait a minute. We ain't done here. There's Optimus in his alt form, and there he is, the G1 truck and trailer. Looking phenomenal, as always. It's Optimus Prime. What are you expecting? Truck mode itself, I mean, they've done this alt mode a million times, and it's just as good as it usually is. It's He transforms like a generic Optimus Prime. You know where everything's ending up. You already know the legs are doing what the legs always do. Folding the feet in and hanging off the back. The arms fold in the sides, obviously. The chest is cool, though. I like how the chest kind of folds out and then, you know, does all that. I do like that. I like that there's only, like, four little itty-bitty panels around here, which is nice. Head flips in. Bottom looks good. Looks great. The alt mode just looks phenomenal. Detailing-wise, translucent headlights. Bumper's all painted. Lots of paint on him. There should be. He's a Voyager that was blown up to leader price. They didn't, however, paint the front wheels, weirdly enough. And also, they're different, but I'm pretty sure that's intentional. I think. Also, these ones are way thinner. Yeah, as far as things go, looks quite good. Now, let's take a look at the trailer. Trailer, trailer. Yay, the trailer. It doesn't have a ton of paint on the stripe and the logos on it. Other than that, it's just a great box that does nothing. Some ports on the bottom, so if you want to store his gun elsewhere, you can. If I can get it off here. There we go. If you want, you can store his gun underneath, but it will interrupt. 
sold it like that though. That works perfectly well and good. So I'm just gonna put the gun underneath. Do as you will with that. Looks a bit weird, but hey. There's something you do with the trailer, obviously, is you can open it up and reveal honestly not much of anything. It's, it's an Optimus Prime trailer mode. What were you expecting? It's a big, empty trailer. And I did bring a plethora of Autobot cars. Yeah. And the only one I think who will fit in the trailer is Bumblebee. Oh, yep, yeah, Skids is way too tall to fit in there. Perfect wheelbase, but too tall. Sideswipe is too long and too wide to fit in. If I'm not mistaken. Right. Yeah, he's too wide. So he's too long and too wide. But Bumblebee, Bumblebee fits in perfectly, and I'm assuming Cliff Jumper would too. Cliff jumper is also small. So you can fit them in there perfectly fine. Bumblebee fits in there perfectly. I mean perfectly. There's no issue with Bumblebee being in that trailer. I think that it's great that you can at least get someone in the trailer. Someone in there. Also, a plethora of ports in there. It's great. I mean, there could be a roller. There is a roller, but it came with like a weird pack that was a weird exclusive. We then have the little repair bot thing. An Optimus comes packaged with this thing, kind of above them and all that. I'm not showing that because it's not really useful to show it. You can do what you will if you own it. I don't think anyone's going to even display the trailer if you display in robot mode. Because for me, I just kind of pack some stuff in it. And that's not a joke. I pack stuff in it. What do I pack in it? Micro Masters and a Blast Effect. That's it. That's what I, I have. Two my, I have the MicroMaster jet, or the space shuttle. And I just pack them away in the trailer. And then I stand it up like that. And hide it away. And it blocks Ultra Magnus from the sun. Okay, what do I think of... Um, let's get to the thoughts. What do I think of him? I think this Prime is great. He's Optimus Prime. Plain and simple. This is the pinnacle. And I mean pinnacle of G1 Optimus Primes in the main line of toys. This is the pinnacle. It does not get better than this Optimus Prime. Period. Period. And I was going to say, what about the masterpieces? Those things are too expensive. MP10, I could see you having a claim. The new one, way too expensive for me to even try to justify that one. That one is way too expensive. And just genuinely should not be bought by like majority of people. Oh, they also overcomplicate the hell out of that thing. As far as things go, this is your pinnacle Optimus Prime. I'm always worried about this one because it's loose. I don't think it's stress marked at all. If it is, I'll be quite sad. I don't really transform them much, and it's only a thing that pegs on anyway, so if it did break off, I'll just hide it away in the chest. In the trailer, whatever one. Yeah, as far as this Optimus goes, Pinnacle Optimus Prime. If you missed out on this toy, you are going to regret it. I mean, unless they re-release it again, which they probably will if we are being 100% honest. They did release it twice, though. Apparently, they're re-releasing Wheeljack again, so... And Legacy, that's third go, by the way. I mean, this Optimus Prime is the Pinnacle Optimus Prime. If you're looking for an Optimus Prime, this is him. This is it. This has been Ilt, Ilt Elite. So I know I actually never gave my grade on him. He's a five out of five. Anyway, that's it. I'm signing out.